Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Mario Kart Tour. Testing the volume now. Hopefully you can hear me. Maybe. It was super quiet last time, so it's not working right. I don't know. But I was messing with some settings and it got quiet. So I guess I didn't notice. So I, th I think it might have been fine on Pikmin. It's just this game has it issue of me having the volume really loud. Test! Test! Maybe I gotta put, like, the mic, like, right next to me. You can even see it out of the frame somewhat. Test! Test! Okay. That should be fine. Test! Hello there. Just had to mute my mic for like a second. Testing! The mic is literally right next to me and it's at 6.5 and I lower desktop to 23, negative 23, so. Before it was negative like 8, so. Oh wait, forgot to unfreeze the screen, sorry. Lol. Eh, screw it, I'll have an extra one too. Okay, I'm back. Bro. Okay, the screen went upside down, which... You know, that's not helpful right now. The new Madrid course is pretty cool, not gonna lie. I think the audio of the game should be loud enough, but not too loud, probably. Hey, see up. How's the audio? Oh, that's great. Um, is the game loud enough, or did I put it too low? I might have overcorrected and made myself too loud and the game too low, but I don't know. Oh, uh, game or me? Because I'm not sure. I can do either, though. I'm assuming you mean the game, since I did make it negative 23, so it might be a bit Negative 18. 
Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. No, I don't. I don't, I don't have headphones on for anything. Oh god, the audio is playing. Like Negative 20, desktop volume, uh, maybe I'll do like 8.5 mic. Testing! Yeah, okay. Yeah, that does seem to happen a lot. That's why I made the game, the game volume negative 20 on the desktop, so... If it's echoing a lot still, then I don't know. Should be fine. It's like I don't know what to do about the echo because I can't have my mic too far from the laptop. I mean, I can try to have it closer to me still, but not close to the laptop. But it's like hard, you know. I think it's working though. Know? I feel like that's always been an issue where there's always just a slight echo because I don't really don't know how to like handle echo problems. I don't think I can do anything about that right now. But in my current, like, room setup, anyway. I don't really know what you do for stuff like that in general, so... I mean, I might have, like, a long time ago, because, um, I had a different, like, streaming setup or whatever. I see directly from the phone, so I might have done it then, I don't know. Oh, yeah, because, um, the biggest reason I don't wear headphones is just in case, in the event, like, I need to help somebody out with something or I need to hear them. I can, like, pause the stream for, like, a second to do that, but, like, I don't know. And it's like, I still feel an obligation to listen to other people if they're calling me for something. Well, I'm doing- Bro, are you kidding me? More audio issues in other ways. There. Don't need that freaking messed up buggy audio playing, thanks. Poochie. Actually, is this the right cup? No. Oh yeah, I should buy stuff. I feel the mighty need to buy. I'm assuming my uh, vocal audio is fine enough now, though. That's it, I'm using my super coin power to waste more money. Alright, where's the freaking coin? Yeah, that thing. Bruh, I mean, I could, but... Oh, okay. Yeah, I fixed it then. Yeah, I, I was just uh, making double shore because it kind of sucked last time, and I didn't even know because nobody was here, so... It's all good. I don't mind that nobody was here. I just, I couldn't even tell that it was a problem, so... Because it was never that bad where nobody could even hear me. Hopefully that was only like a one-time thing. I feel like I want the game to be like extra loud lately, so that's probably part of it. I raise it up on my computer so I can hear it while I'm playing. You know, I want to hear the game properly too.
That should be good. Imagine if Gold Mario was like the final character or something. Crap, I don't have enough for gold. Get Birdo. Yay, useless characters. Okay, um. Gonna take takedown. Feature in the mole. Well, LA Laps is a track, but yeah, this is in Madrid. Pretty cool. You know, I saw, um, freaking, uh, the Bring Up Safe Rollers again. Uh, I watched the freaking, his Mario Kart character ranking, and he said Monty Mole and Mario Kart was kind of dumb because all you see from the behind, he looked, he like, looks really goofy. I mean, I, I like Monty Mole, and I like he's in Mario Kart, but he does look funny, I will agree. Like, you just see, like, a freaking potato or something from the right behind. Or like a hot dog chicken nugget, I don't, I don't know, some weird crap. Oh, I just noticed the Goomba trees everywhere. Never even saw that, you know. That's fair, there's a lot of core crap. So... I mixed up London Loop and Paris Promenade somehow in my tags once, so it was kind of funny. Okay. Oh, well, we have a battle for us, finally. I was talking to Nex the other day in DMs about how dead these battle forces are. Like, you hardly even see them. Like, what's the point of adding them if they were just gonna add, like, five? Two of them being City Track clones that are only in certain tours. Like, they didn't even add any new battle forces, and the music is still exactly the same. Like, bro, step it up if you're gonna you know, hype up this as, like, a big new feature. True. the best battle for him, squad for him. Bruh, I just hit Bowser, the Latina. Congratulating him on his transition. He's now Latina. Hello there, Joseph. I will kill you. Because you don't know how to use your horn properly. I'm killing me if she... Oh yeah, by the way, CF, I don't know if this is true, but I've heard reports, or at least from what people can hear, that, um, apparently the Yoshi voice might be different too, and, uh, what the hell? Twitter, why are you giving me this saucy stuff? Anyway, um, that Yoshi's voice may also be recasted, as well as, like, Peach. And I don't know if they recasted Daisy. She's probably the same, but... I mean, I would... Them recasting Peach and other characters seem kind of believable, too, considering how long they've been voicing them, so... Must be part of the restructuring kind of thing, too, I mean... Damn, I can't believe, after like, how long ago was Yoshi's story again? That game was like 1997, I think. Nope. Um, Mario 4 Kids. <laughs> um, 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 what was I gonna, oh yeah, Yoshi's story. I'm gonna Google that. December 1997. And that was basically 25 years ago, almost. I mean, going on 26, but... Yeah, 26 years. So, like, Kuzumi Totaka, the go, even though he's not really doing music with Nintendo anymore, he still voices Yoshi and Ika. Well, 
Brown. And now he's going to. It's kind of sad to see all the greats at Nintendo just going. Like. Well, a lot of the new blood are also people that are like. have been working behind the scenes of older games a long time. It's like. the main big people are like. Don, bro. What's next? Frickin' Koizumi leaves or something? Or Katabe? Like, bro. All the big Mario people. Also, hot take. Honestly, I like Scott Barton's with Bowser. I don't care if he was a little bit cheesy. Like, I kind of like Kenny James Bowser more, a little bit maybe, but Scott Burns Bowser was fun. I liked him in Bowser Eudora. He did a, he did a funny sounding Bowser. It fit the goofy nature of him in that game. So. Like, I don't know, he was like, Roar! I like Bowser. Also, he did the voices of Payanta, so... Or Pyanthas is what I call them. It might be Pyanthas? Pyanthas? I don't know how you pronounce that, really. Probably some Italian word that I've just been saying wrong all my life, so I don't know what they're actually called. Or maybe it's a lack of your situation, where I've always been right, and everyone else has always been wrong. I don't know. People call them frickin' Lakitus, and I'm like, bro, no. That's not how it's called. All the freaking Nintendo YouTubers call them Lakitu, and I'm like, bro, that's stupid. They're not called Lakitu, bro. They're called Lakitu, and Mario Maker confirms this too. Oh no 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 no! I got completely screwed over. It's pronounced Hydro City. I mean, I like Hydrocity and Hydro City equally, honestly. I, I, I could call them either. It doesn't really matter that much. Also, I don't know, Rosalina. I haven't really heard that much of the Mario Kart 7 voice that much, honestly, because I didn't play that game since it came out. Honestly, I don't hate the new voice that much. It's alright. Or at least the one they use in Mario Kart Tour. No one in Smash Brothers, I know it's just the Mario Kart 7 voice, so... Yeah, I, I kind of like that version, because, like... If it's newer Rosalina better, like, you know, she has more personality and spin-offs, or she has more, like, a sassiness to her. But in Mario Galaxy, Mercedes Rose, like, fit the best of that role, because she's, like, you know, some otherworldly, like, entity, like, with a bunch of lore, and, like, she just has this, like, calmness energy in her. But, like, in spin-offs, they don't really need her to be like that, because, like, you know, they're going car racing and crap, so you can't just be calm. So I understand the need to recast her. Like, I don't know. I'm whatever about Rosalina. But, uh, the Koopalings are the most tragic of the recastings, honestly, because they freaking they only left because of some union crap. They, they got, they got, like, they got recasted because they were union, I think. So, kind of like some Sonic Team crap right there. Um... And I remember especially one of the freaking voice actors being really pissed off that they were reusing their voice clips like 10 billion times, which, I mean, that's kind of funny considering, you know, that's kind of a kind of standard practice in the Mario franchise. Like, even back in, like, the 2000s, they were using Mario Kart Double Dash voice clips over and over in, like, a ton of games. Which, I mean, to be fair, they were releasing so many games back then, like, every year. It was kind of absurd. 
so I understand they probably didn't have time to have them come back to the studio and voice for like every freaking new game because there's like 10 Mario games in one year. Like that, I'm not even joking. There was like, a, it was, I didn't even really think about it some back then, but like now I see, I look back, I, look, I see all those Mario games that came out and I'm like, bro, this was like the high mighty Mario era. They were just pumping good games non-stop. Like there's two billion games. Uh, they don't really change Sonic, necessarily. I mean, I don't mind that they change Sonic's voice. I just don't like Roger Craig Smith as much. That's all. Like, if they recast the other characters, like, that's fine. As long as they're still good. Like, whatever. But... See, so, yeah, like, I see Sonic as different than Mario. Like, Sonic's a flexible character. You can give him a bunch of different voices. Mario, they gotta, they gotta sound like you know, how they should, basically. Like, Mario has a defined, like, gravel. Sonic, he can kinda, like, bend his character more. Kinda like Spider-Man, like, there's like a bunch of Spider-Man. I, yeah, you know, I always view Sonic like Spider-Man, I don't know, man. Bunch of different versions, bunch of different takes. Like, yeah, there is the main game man, and then the canon is real, but... Like... What Sonic really is, is always, like, kind of changed throughout the years. So I understand the need to change sometimes. Oh, nice. That guy can crush his, uh... I thought that one not work. What I'm wondering is, if Sally Acorn ever returns, uh, sorry, I can't, I can't speak right now. If Sally Acorn ever came back somehow, in something that had voice, actually, do you think Kate, Kate, they'd have Kate Susie return? Or would she be voiced by somebody else? I don't know the answer to that question, but it's an interesting question. That's true. I like that. I like that as well, because, like, Sonic's Japanese voice guy was pretty cool. Seems pretty cool. The only people they recast are those who were past, like, um, Eggman. Whom was voiced by another person in the same family, I think, later on. Which is pretty cool. Wow, Light Blue Yoshi, I love him. Oh, here's Los Angeles right here. That would be so awesome. That would be so cool. Oh, right, I gotta check my gift box. Go, 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 go. Okay, um... Wait, Yoshi. Um, Dwight Yoshi, okay, and Buzz Lightyear Wing, that's always what I'm gonna call you, Gold Buzz Lightyear Wing. It would be so awesome. Two hours later. Keep happening. Okay, that's fine, I'm gonna edit this stream down later, yada yada yada. Random ass spam numbers keep calling me like for like the past two days or something. Um, just about had it, especially on the Mario Kart 4 stream. I can do nothing about it because I gotta have my phone on all the time in case of like emergency or something. Like I can't just put it on silent. Like, bro. Bro, I am tired of random McDonaldson trying to call me. And my my editor takes like 20 minutes to render the video. We got rid of like two things that I'm coming out, and I'm like, bro. 
LA laps is pretty cool. Oh, I could have broke through that. No. I didn't have to do that, but I wanted to. Because that was sad. Honestly, my favorite thing about this track is just the random Mario Super Slugger that just being used because it fits the theme, kind of. Does the LA even have good baseball teams? That's my question. That's a good point. I never see the other ones anymore. I remember there was like a bunch of dirt areas in one of them. Forget which one. Honestly, if I saw Charles Martin again, I'd probably ask him what they were going for with his approach in Mario Golf. Because I never heard the voice. Because I never played Mario Golf in 64, but dang bro. Luigi sounds like depressed or tired in that game, man. It's unlike anything of, like, the modern Luigi voice. It sounds more like Wario. He's like... I don't know. He's like, he's got a deep voice. And it kind of just sounds Wario-like. I mean, in all fairness, that was the first game where he voiced the character, so he didn't know what to do with him yet. But I'm just curious, like... What was the approach? He sounds like a gangster mob boss or something. It's kind of funny. Oh, I'm using CF. That's who I got here. The goat. The boy. Insert Scott the Love Joe, the Luigi thing, the F word, or Mario Ball, or something. I don't know. Did he do that? I don't know, man. I'll have to find out. No, they did the thing again where I get the combo before the ending. No, no, no. I'm talking about Mario Golf 64, where Luigi sounds really different and weird and kind of funny. But, Toad's to Tour does sound pretty cool. I mean, in that game, Luigi goes, Luigi, Luigi, oh yeah, oh yeah. And that's also the game that originates the Mario Die meme, so, like, it's kind of deep in that regard. So, I'll always prefer tennis because tennis is cool and I don't, I'm not a golf guy, I'm sorry. Never was interested, but it sounds cool. Luigi, Luigi, oh yeah, oh yeah. Of all the games with Mario voices, I feel like Mario Strikers and um, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga are like my favorites all the time. Basically, any of the M and L games have, like, funny voices in them for all the characters. What's up for today, Abel? Like, all of Mario's fake Italian, or, like, the rim dream, or, like, when Mario said, BABIES in that uh, part of the time. That was pretty funny. I like that. He's just like, BABIES! Just the way he does it, man. He, he's got this raw emotion. That was one of the lines from that game. Bruh, it wasn't even throwing the hammers. What the heck? Okay, fine. True. Bro, did I just get screwed over again? Maybe the lightning will help a little bit. Oh, oh, this is my chance to use a bullet bill. Let's go. It, it was a good thing, actually. 
Now I just need one more bullet bill to reach the conclusion of the Dixie Cog mission. Well, let's see. Dang, that's it for today. Well, guess I gotta wait another couple days. Yeah, I think I'll wait, like... I mean, usually I do, like, around three cups or four. So, and I'm not sure whether to wait. Eh! Two days probably makes more sense. So I can do three and then another three. Anyway, um, thank you all so much for watching the stream. If you like what you saw... Feel free to follow and check out the YouTube channel. Links on the sidebar. I post a lot of my Twitch VODs there. I got other stuff like other Mario games, Sonic the Hedgehog, King of Hearts, Pikmin 4, and a lot more. So, um, have yourselves a fantastic day and take care. I'll probably play Pikmin 4 later if I have time today, but if not, then it's whatever. Oh, really? That's... Damn, I didn't think of that, honestly. Let me, let me check mine. Okay, yeah, I need it one more time, so. Anyway, bye!